Hello and welcome. Our task for today is to evaluate the square root of this number without calculators and leave our answer in sort form. Now, first of all, let us make sure that this number is a positive number. We know that the square root of 5 is less than 2.5. Now, 2.5 times 12 is 30. So 12 root 5 is less than 30. 30 is less than 49. So this is a positive number. Next, what we do is to equate this. That is the square root of 49 minus 12 root 5 to the square root of some number x minus the square root of some number y. Obviously, the next thing we do is to square both sides of this equation. So we have root 49 minus 12 root 5 squared is equal to root x minus root y squared. This will take care of that. To give us that 49 minus 12 root 5 is equal to, opening this bracket, we have root x squared is x. 2 times root x times minus root y is minus 2 root x y. And minus root y squared is equal to plus y. So this is equal to x plus y minus 2 root xy. Looking at the right hand side and the left hand side of this equation, we can see that x plus y must be equal to 49. So we have x plus y equal to 49. And we can see that minus 12 root must be equal to minus 2 root xy. So we have minus 2 root xy must be equal to minus 12 root 5. Now we can divide both sides of this by minus 2. This will take care of that to give us that root xy is equal to 6 root 5. We can write this as root 36 which is 6 multiplied by root 5 and from our law of sorts we know that this is the same as root 36 times 5 which is equal to root 180 so 180 must be equal to xy and that is our second equation So from this equation, I can write that x is equal to 49 minus y. And from here, I can write that xy is equal to 180. Now substituting this into this, I have that x, which is now 49 minus y multiplied by y is equal to 180. Opening this bracket, we have that 49y minus y squared is equal to 180. Taking all the terms over to the right hand side, we have that 0 is equal to y squared minus 49y plus 180. Now, this is a quadratic equation that we can factorize because we know that the two factors of 180 that will add up to minus 49 are minus 45 and minus 4. So we have that this is equal to y minus 4 and y minus 45. This is 0. From where we have that, y minus 4 is equal to 0 or y minus 45 is equal to 0 and from where we have that y is equal to 4 or 45. Now we go back to this equation to find values of x. When y is equal to 4 then x is 49 minus 4 and x is equal to 45. And when y is equal to 45, then x is equal to 49 minus 45. And x is equal to 4. 
Now, you remember that we equated this to root x minus root y. So now we have two values. The first value is root 45 minus root 4. And the second value, this is value number 1, and the second value is root 4 minus root 45, which is y. This is the second value. Now, this is, we are looking for the square root of a positive number. So the square root of a positive number must be positive. Now, you look at this. Obviously, you know that, okay, root 45 is equal to root 9 times 5. That is equal to 3 root 5. So let me immediately replace that. So here we have 3 root 5. And of course, root 4 is 2. So you have 2. So this is the first value. And here you have 2. And you have 3 root 5. When you look at the second option, you will see that 3 root 5 is obviously greater than 2. So this is a negative number. So that rules out this. And that tells us that the square root of this number, 49 minus 12 root 5, must be 3 root 5 minus 2. And this is our answer. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you've learned something and I hope you were entertained. See you in the next one.